like, I don't know, it might be a long time to get there, but this one, okay. you can really help your flyer uh, feel encouraged to get over. Okay, so we're going over here. Let's start in reverse star. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's go. I always teach reverse start first without hands. Yeah, me too. Because you, you have your hands here. Hands. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Like, I learned yeah, teaching someone, this is a little dangerous. I have fall over. On purpose. So they, yeah. Yes, so they then no. Yeah. Great way. A great way to help your fly gain confidence is actually simulate a fall mm -hmm. in a safe way. So they, I totally agree. So okay, we're coming I'm going to try and do this without mm -hmm. bending my knees because Fatty it. yelled at me. Uh, okay. um, so if I don't get it, that's fine. Okay. Away. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Over? <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay, cool. So that's I have... <laughs> wow. That, that that's so beautiful. Big. That was the very first time I've ever had someone jump so strong and went over. My very first time. So this is a new for me. Are you okay first? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Beautiful. So what happened there and what can we do better? That's great. So normally I simulate a fall, but a real fall actually happened. And that's perfect. And I caught it on camera so then people can really see. What happens was... Uh, the jump was so strong that I collapsed over and over this way. Yeah. And I couldn't really support because I was already way over this uh, way, you right? Her shoulders, so. Yeah, I helped lift her up yeah. just a little bit. Um, so knowing that, let's see how we can protect the fall, right? So again. So keep in mind, the hands up helps, but if she's way over here, uh -huh. it won't work, right? Uh -huh. So when you're taking in the weight, try not to keep your feet like I did way over here. Okay. Keep them over here in front of your face okay. stacked up, okay? okay? Hands up again, Ami. Beautiful trust. She's going right back up. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Of Away. And then. Okay. All right. Okay, here, here comes the uh, coming over, right? Now, once she brings her feet over this way, watch what happens. Her weight shifts and her hands just automatically shift oh, yeah. and she grabbed the front of my shins. Okay. Otherwise she's coming over, right? Yep. Okay. So what I do here is I ask them to bend over, but I actually have them, instead of bringing both feet over, mm -hmm. do, do the bunny ear. So one stag in the front and one in the back. Okay. It helps balance the, the weight over. Okay. So here's the hard part. She has no idea how far her feet are to your hands. So you have to help guide her, okay? Watch my toes too, I'm really digging in here, so it's keeping that weight back there, right? Okay. And then I'm saying, you're about a foot away, Ami. So I'm reaching, reaching. As soon as she touches, uh -huh. she can relax. Uh -huh. And the feet are already in well now, uh -huh. right? And then from there we pop the throne, yeah. or do whatever, right? So the key, the key thing for that one is, one, the toes. Watch how I really digged over. And placement too, we'll go again. Those Watch, actually. Back yeah. As as I as she comes over, you'll see my toes even dig further. Okay. Okay. So kind of speed yeah. Down a bit. Yeah. Or even when you start, you can go. This makes it a little harder for her to jump, I think. Mm -hmm. But then you you really have your toes to grab around her back. Okay. Okay. Keep them getting my feet not over towards my head. Keep them nice and straight. Away. And in. Beautiful. So now my toes are really digging in her shoulders there. Yeah. The cup there, right? You, you don't want to create too much space. If there's a gap between your toes. And her back, sometimes that's too much space, so this is good. Reaching, you're about there. Once she's done, she can relax here. Because uh -huh. that's a lot of core for her to tense up. But once she's here, she's good to go. Uh -huh. From there, you can walk your feet out a little if you need. You can pop to throne. You can pop to foot to hand if you have that strength. But I don't have that strength, so I don't do a lot of foot to hands. You can pop to throne. Okay. Um, or you can lower your hands here. Uh -huh. Have her stand up. Yeah. And then do a Catherine's wheel here, right? Uh -huh. You can do the captain's well. So Maha's captain's well is basically the same kind of one direction rotating, mm -hmm. but instead of going from um, foot to hand to bird, I go foot to hand to uh, the shoulders and go back to reverse star. Okay. So let's let's do that transition there. Okay. So let's go okay. throne, please. I just want to show foot to hand to reverse star. So this part goes here. Mm -hmm. I like grabbing the feet. For me, everyone's different, right? I like really grabbing. I used to do it this way because I could gauge them weight. I find that this is actually stronger and it gives the flyer a chance to really sink into the heels. It's yeah, nice and sturdy. Hurts, my wrist. hurts your wrist too. Mm -hmm. So I like this. I changed my grip. So people sometimes do this. I found that this works better for me, yeah. but it, it makes the flyer have to really sink in the heels. Mm -hmm. So toes up, sinking in the heels. Okay. Here. And then from here, what I do is I bring my feet over instead of her hips. She pikes mm -hmm. and brings her shoulders 
here and watch this. I have to lower my legs and it helps me to push off of my hands. Okay. And then up. And then she can come up again. Okay. And then, then we have that transition. So one more time, the transition from reverse star over. I like the, uh, the countered legs. Stay there for a second. I'm gonna show the camera what you're doing. So she's countering the legs like that. Yeah. Okay, so then you reach up. You tell her, you're about a foot away, go a little further. And this one is not just uh, flexibility. It's a lot of strength in the arms and her core. She has to really keep her core tight so her body just doesn't flop over. It's nice and controlled, right? Okay. So there you can shift the feet. You can lower the hands. Elbows in, right? This will really hurt your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Bring them in, come them up. Here, she's gonna bend her pike okay. over. There it is. Cast the shoulders. I have to really lower, and she's gonna push off of my hands up, core, 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 okay. and then hands up in case she yeah. falls, right? Yeah. Questions before we start? All right, let's go.